Hello everyone, my name is Dylan Friedhoff and I'm a solution engineer at Talon Software. I'm here to talk today about the Talon Enterprise Data Stewardship. So Talon Enterprise Data Stewardship is about the ability to correct data as it moves through the transformation process. In other words, being able to capture data that doesn't meet certain requirements as it moves into the corporate infrastructure. This demonstration will illustrate this by moving data, capturing where it goes bad, moving it to the Data Stewardship Council, allowing somebody to act upon that, and then finally moving the bad data corrected in with the good data. To do this, we'll start with the, the Talon Studio and create a new job. We'll place into it a text file with clients and states, and we'll use the TMAP to perform a lookup between the two of them. So by dragging in the main row from the clients to the main row of the states, we can use a lookup. We can bring up the TMAP editor, create a new output, and we'll call this good data. Then we also create another output, this one to collect the bad data that fails the lookup join. Now we need to define how we join the two tables together. We'll do that by dragging the state ID to the state abbreviation. Now we also need to select the fields that we're interested in bringing into the outputs. So I'm just going to grab uh, ID through zip, put in the good data, also highlight and bring the same thing into the bad data. For where the good data joins, we're going to bring in the actual state name into that one. For the bad data, we're going to create a couple static columns so that we can tell the Data Stewardship Council a little more information about this. We're going to add a field called isTarget and source. Then we need to set these static values, target to be false and the source to an arbitrary string that will help the person using the council know where this data came from. I'm just going to put file here so it's simple uh, telling. The next thing we need to do is perform an inner join because we want the failures of that inner join to go to our bad data and we can do that by specifying true to the inner join lookup. Now that we have our outputs the way that we want we need to specify where that data is going to flow. I'm going to drag and drop in a connection to MySQL and choose a MySQL output. So I want the data as it's coming out and it's good data to go directly into the database. I just have to specify the table name and then we need also to specify the action and I want this to be a pen so I'm just going to create the table if it doesn't exist. And the final component that we're going to add is the stewardship task output. This is going to allow us to capture all the bad data and move it to the stewardship council so it can be acted upon. We need to put the appropriate URL for the stewardship council, username and password of an existing user within the system. I'm just going to use administrator administrator as it is a default username and password. We can give it any task name that we want. I'm going to call this one bad data or bad state. We need to use a resolution of data because this is a problem with the data. Resolution would be if there's a problem with matching. Uh, change the owner, give it a tag name, and the star rating will just let know how important it is. Finally, we're going to use those two static fields that we collected before and we need to add the data fields that we're interested in moving to the Stewardship Council. So if everything is done correctly, we can execute this job at this point. The execution is going to move the data, try to join it. Where it fails, we're going to have two rows move to the Data Stewardship Council, and the rest is going to go to the database. So we can uh, go to MySQL, bring up the table that uh, has just been created, and we'll see that uh, there's IDs 1 and 4 missing in the output. So now we can switch over and look at the Stewardship Council. Let's just refresh our tasks and we can see that the two 
elements of data that missed the lookup are now in our stewardship council. At this point the data steward would come in and look at these exceptions, decide what the appropriate data is, and when he can move all the columns up and then fix the bad state data. Once he has saved this row of data, it is now says that it is resolved. Now that the data has been fixed, we have to create the last part of the process that takes this resolved data and moves it into the database with the original data. So a best practice to do this would be to take the part of the job that does the joining and checking and create that as a joblet because we'd like to perform that once again to verify that the steward has actually successfully changed the data. So now that we refactored it into a joblet, we can create a new job that will leverage that part of it. So now let's create that new job. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the input from the stewardship. This will give us the resolve data that uh, the steward has fixed. We're also going to take the joblet that we refactored from our previous job that does the lookup for us. Now we have to set all the properties on the stewardship component. These are very similar to what we did before. The same username, password. Also we need to look at the type um, the owner is user. Now we have to give it a start date and end date. I'm just going to paste in a static string and then I'm going to make this a variable so that we can use it as a context later. So I uh, give this a 2020 so it's uh, much later. So that should encapsulate all of the tasks within there. A few more filters we have to set. We only want the data and we only want the status where that has been resolved. We don't want to move data that hasn't been looked at yet. All star ratings, okay, everything looks good. Except the tag should be tag one. Now we can add the last component. We're going to use a column filter because we're going to have more columns coming from the stewardship task input than we actually need. Some of these are specific information that are useful for other reasons, but we don't need them what we're currently doing. So we're going to attach the component to the joblet and we're going to get the schema from that. Now when we attach the stewardship council we want to say no because we don't want to apply that particular schema. However we do want the columns that are in the schema. You can see that we can copy and paste these particular columns, go into the stewardship council, add the schema, and paste the original columns that we're interested in getting from the stewardship back out. So now that we have all the components in place and the scheme is matching up just the way we want, we can execute this job. The job is going to attach to the stewardship council and it's going to bring back the one row of data that we did resolve and it's going to move it back into the process to bring it out to the database. So if we refresh our query resort, you can see that now row 4 Grover with North Dakota has been inserted into the database. So if we go back out to the stewardship council, we can see that our resolve row is still there. So we have one final step to do in our job. We have to delete the task that we have moved. So to do that, we're going to use the stewardship task delete component. We're going to trigger that on the job finish, or on sub job OK. And once again, we're going to set all of our component variables to the correct URL, username, type that uh, we've used before. And when we get down to the start date, we're going to want to use those context variables that we used prior. That way we can parameterize the start time and end time throughout the entire job. So just copy and paste them from our input. and then we have to set the status to be resolved. We don't want to pull anything or delete anything that hasn't been fixed. Then let's go back to our component, make sure that our owner is parameterized so that we can also use that as a variable. Put that in. Now we can build this job and when it runs, of course, we don't have anything resolved left. We've already moved that and now it is just going to delete that one resolve line 
from our stewardship, leaving the only road that has not been resolved. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps you in any endeavor that you have when creating stewardship within the talent enterprise.